Uh, this is John Black, Super Chemist. Here to do an easy video about how to get mineral oil. Just how to get, not how to make. So, uh, mineral oil uh, is just basically higher alkanes. So, if you need a source of alkanes, um, this is a good good thing to do. Like, if you want to crack it, crack them down into smaller alkanes. You know what I mean? You can do that with this. Um, I think the lowest number of carbons is nine, so nonane uh, would be the lowest boiling point, you know, of, uh, alkane in there. That boils at about 150 Celsius. Um, so, you know, if that's the lowest boiling point one, this probably boils at, I don't know, 250, maybe even 300 Celsius. I have no clue. I never boiled it. Um, but I do know it's at least higher than 150, right? So some people use this as an oil bath when they do distillations or stuff like that. Um, I personally, it's so expensive. I, I use uh, vegetable oil, um, like that you make French fries with. You know what I mean, or something like that. I just use that, but then it stinks your house up like French fries. So, um, now this is the same thing as baby oil. Wish I would have known this when I had babies or even when I was younger. Because back in the day, before people cared about the sun growing in their skin, <coughs> uh, women and girls used to put uh, baby oil on their skin to go sunbathing. And uh, it stinks. The same way when you got a baby, if you use it on your baby. Um, baby oil stinks. I, I don't understand why they would put that stink in there. What's the purpose in that? It's disgusting. Uh, you could just use this mineral oil instead. Um, and not have that stink. <laughs> now, if you do buy baby oil instead of mineral oil, you know, try to get, uh, as usual, try to get the cheapest stuff. Hypoallergenic, you know, no perfumes, uh, nothing added to it. I don't suggest to do it as long as you can get this. I mean, yeah, it's more expensive, but I don't know, just uh, I don't like that smell, I guess. I get mine at CVS. You can. See that to our CVS product. Um, let me tell you, I don't know about any other CVS store, but the CVS store that I went to near me, they're the most helpful people in the world. Um, you just go up and ask. Usually they're busy. They're never behind the counter. Um, but they're, it's a small store usually, so it's easy to find somebody because uh, they're usually stocked on the shelf or something like that. Um, and you ask them, they'll take you by the hand over to the product and they'll pick it up and put it into your hand. They don't just say, hey, it's over somewhere around there. They literally go get the item for you and give it to you. <laughs> uh, so kudos for that, at least for the CVS near me. Um, you can probably get this in any other uh, drugstore. You know, it doesn't have to be CVS. Probably have this in Walmart or, you know, lots of other places. Um... I noticed that uh, hardware stores, they usually have mineral spirits. I never really see any mineral oil, although they might have it there too. Um, but I just go straight to CVS because it looks nice and clean. Uh, and I, I'm just used to that. I use this basically. There's only one thing I use it for, um, and that's, uh, although I would like to do some cracking on them, but that, what I use them for is uh, to store some uh, sodium. I make my sodium up, add in extra uh, sodium hydroxide. That way, when it gets done, it solidifies into a brick or a, a disc at the bottom of the can. And then I can just get a screwdriver or a knife and, you know, pound, put the screwdriver in there and pound it so it cracks into little pieces, or actually big pieces. And then I can have big pieces there. And I just throw them into the into the mineral oil. Now this isn't totally 100% pure. Um, it's definitely pure for this, you know, everything I mentioned so far. Um, it does have some water in it. I think at least half percent. By weight, because this was bubbling when I put this, the sodium in it, so it's bubbling for a reason. The water, there must have been some water in there. But I think it is pretty pure as in, uh, you know, uh, other than the water. It also has some kind of, uh, 
what is it? Uh, a uh, di alpha iso. I can't even read because I ain't got my glass. Di alpha tosoferol as a preservative. Um, probably has a very very small amount of it. I have no clue how much. Um, but if you need, to, if you're making some sodium or you want it for an oil bath. Um, you know, or you want to try cracking higher alkanes down with the smaller alkanes or smaller alkenes, uh, you can use this. Um, you can see how nice and clear it is. You know, it's crystal clear. It's like water. Um, but that's, that's pretty much all I have to say about mineral oil. Um, like I said, the lowest higher alkane that can be in there is a monane which is nine carbons and that's pretty much it um, I didn't make this sodium because I'm, I had to redo my uh, ether so I let it sit too long and I was like man I bet there's a bunch of peroxides in there so I redid it again and I'm going to use a sodium and I'm going to put it into the ether and finally make my uh, Grignard uh, reagent. Uh, so that'll be three days from now because uh, I just put some molecular sieves in there. I'm going to let it sit for three days. Uh, and I'm going to use it right away because I do not want to clean it a second time after, you know, that's a waste of time. You know, you use it when you make it like that. And my uh, cellulose nitrate video, uh, the gun cotton nitrocellulose, whatever you want to call it. Um, right now I'm drying it out. I just dried it out so I don't know how long it's going to take to dry maybe four or five days at, at longest I'm hoping just a couple days uh, then I can get that video out of the way and get that done and maybe lay a couple little strips off or whatever anyways you all have a great day and always remember science is great <laughs>